want to refresh, in order to understand the blades of the propeller, I want to explain something about the, about the airplanes uh, in order to understand what is the meaning of this. We are going to analyze the wing of, the, of the, an airplane. And uh, we are going to, su uh, to suppose that this is the air swing. Okay? And we are going to create an imaginary line in the wing. And this is the attack angle. All right. When you are in a plane, you are seated close to the to the wing. You, you see the wing when the when the plane is moving. Mm -hmm. You remember that uh, in front of the wing, this area is movable. Yeah. And also in the back, this area is adjustable. No, in some cases it's here. Yeah. Okay. This one. This one in front is the leading edge. And this one in the back is the drilling edge. Pay attention. In normal conditions, in normal conditions, this is the air stream, a lot of a lot of forces are created here. Those are positive forces. And uh, some negative forces are created in the bottom. The final result, this one minus this one, is the lift the sustentation of the of the airplane. When the captain moves this leading edge down and the drilling edge down, both of them, what happened with the sustentation? Increase dramatically, dramatically. And you have more lift, more sustentation. You remember in what moment? In what moment they move this and this? Take during the takeoff and also during the landing. Because during the takeoff, you need maximum, maximum sustentation, maximum lift. Anybody follow me? Mm -hmm. And also, when you approximate the plane to the ground, this is the moment where you need, once again, maximum sustentation to touch the ground easily. If you don't have maximum sustentation during, during the landing, what happened? That's not good, no? Ah, okay. You incline this one, and you incline the flaps down completely, and you have maximum sustentation. And you see the planes here, they touch easily. Oh, jump! Touch the ground, and they continue. Immediately touch the ground, they run and run. And now, it's, you don't need more sustentation. Yeah? If you cut it, one of those blades, you have a section similar to this one with leading edge, leading edge here, and drilling edge in the bottom. It's, it's practically the same. You like the explanation, my friends? Okay, it's clear that uh, if I cut it, this blade, I have that shape? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the most important part. Look, this is the back of the boat. The transmission is over there. Everybody follow me? When, when the propeller is spinning in this area, is created a low pressure side and in this area is created high pressure side yeah this is the face of the of the blade and this is the back of the blade this is the face of the blade the fluid enter here and go down here the fluid enter here and go down here yeah you follow me and a, a screw on the wall a screw on the wall pay attention this is the plane i am flying I want to move the plane like this. What surface of those surfaces you think I need to move to incline the plane like this? Right wing. Or like this? That side is going to go down yeah. and this side is going to go down. What happens if I move this one, this one, down? It's going to go down. The air touch over there and the plane incline like this. Yes or no? What happens if I move this one down? This one down. Like this. The movement of this one and the movement of this one, they, they depend one of the other one. If this one is down, this one is not moving. If this one is down, this one is not moving. 
only move one at the same time. What is the name of this and this? Aileron. How I move it? This and this. Yeah? Yep. All right. Pay attention. This is the plane. I want to lift the nose and go down the tail. Which surface you you want to move it? Which one? This is the rudder. Which one you move? This one or this one? Yeah. That one. Pay attention. What happens if both of them move like this, down? The tail goes up and the nose down. Okay. What happens if those move like this? The tail down and the nose up. How I move it? This and this. Yeah? Pin and pin. What is the name of those? Stabilizer. <coughs> okay. You remember during the takeoff and during the landing, I want to increase sustentation, no? I move the leading edge down and I incline the flaps down maximum to increase maximum sustentation. Those are the flaps. How I move it, the flaps? The flaps, normally, in the depend of the airplane, uh, you remember in your car, uh, the, the handbrake yeah. is similar to this one, maximum flaps, and they have graduation. 10 degrees, 5 degrees, 20 degrees, yeah? In some cases, it's a wheel, yeah? To move those flaps down. And you move it, the, the, the wheel, 5 degrees, 10 degrees. When you, when, you, when you are in the moment of the landing, you need the maximum angle of flaps. Or during the takeoff. That's clear, that situation? Okay, this is the plane. I want to move the plane in this direction or I want to move the plane in that direction? Run. With the rudder. If the air, what happened? The nose goes down. If the air, the nose goes over there. That's, that's clear? How I move the rudder? Remember, the ailerons, like this and like this. With the pedals. Excuse me? The With the pedals. pedals. With the pedals. Like this, like this, and the rudder like this, and like this. We are going to install stabilizers in your boat to lift the transom and go down the front of the boat, or to move like this. What is the name of those stabilizers in your boat? Print tabs. Print tabs, thank you. And the rudder is the rudder that you have in front of the propeller. 